Why do you think they call it that, man? Uh, probably because it's bigger than a hill. <laughs> yeah, right. Guys, I have a really bad feeling about this place. I mean, what kind of cabin is on the corner of Dracula Drive and Crazed Maniac Lane? <sighs> this one creepy mountain. I thought it was Wolfman Mountain. <laughs> There, there, there. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, it's some wind. Wind? That was a wolf. You know what's a werewolf? Where's the wolf? Here, wolf, here, wolf. Guys. Here, wolf. Here, wolf. Guys, guys, look at this. Nine backpacks and nine pairs of hiking boots. Yeah, so? Yeah, so? So the guy at the gas station said nine hikers were missing? Yeah, so? Yeah, so? <laughs> hey. Maybe the hitchhikers are in the backpacks. Well, maybe if you guys put your brains together, you'd have half a brain. <laughs> look, Joe, this place is very cool, okay? Cool? Okay, come here. Will you please look at this? This cupboard has bites in the door and claw marks all over it. Tell me these weren't made by a werewolf. These, these weren't made, made by a werewolf. <laughs> look, they probably had a cute little puppy. You know how they like the jewels. Oh, a puppy did that. Oh, and I suppose this is my imagination, too. Werewolf chow. <laughs> Werewolf chow. Cool. I bet there's that new breakfast cereal. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know, are, are you brain dead or what? Only an idiot would look at a box marked Werewolf chow and think it's a breakfast cereal. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you guys. I mean, we're on Wolfman Mountain. There is a full moon out tonight. We just heard a wolf-like howl outside. There are scratches and bite marks all over the cabin, not to mention the werewolf chow in the cupboard. Now, are you guys sensing any sort of pattern here? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it must be Halloween. Yes. Yeah. Let me let the guy in. No. No. Just on it. No. 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 no, 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 no. I told you, now do you guys believe me? Man, that was so cool. I mean, you hired a guy to dress up in a werewolf costume. That is entertainment. Yeah. What are you talking about? What do you call it a wolf gram right? <laughs> you guys are both brain dead. I'm out of here. Oh. Huh. Poor guy. Probably burning up in that costume, huh? Just give him some air. Oh, cool. Get his head off. Yeah. Hey, his head won't come off. Oh, 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 his breath stinks. <laughs> hey, man, his teeth are huge. Hey, you don't think that me... Nah. <laughs> romantic comedy you'll never forget. If you've just tuned in, we're talking to little Bo Peep, who's lost her sheep. Tell us about them, Bo Peep. Well, Dr. Goose, <laughs> my sheep made everything beautiful. The moment I saw them, it was like magic. <laughs> little boy blue, come blow your horn. Sheep's in the medic, cow's in the corn. <laughs> Oh, Jack Horner, what am I going to do? What if she's my destiny? What if we're supposed to raise this flock together? What a good boy, my. Would you please stop eating with your thumbs? I'm in agony over here. Dear little Bo Peep, I'm a shepherd, and I want to meet you. This is the one. My name is Little Boy Blue. And he wants to meet me in New York at the Empire State Building on Valentine's Day. She listens to you for anyone whose heart has ever had it bad. Wake up, we're gonna have a good time. Don't stop, keep your eyes open. Wake up, we're gonna have a good time. Wake up.
serious about this thing that we didn't even serve for two whole days. Ooh, what a nightmare, huh? Yeah, you know it. Well, let's just get these uh, inventions registered so you can get back to your surfing. Right. Your names, please. Shred. Shred. <laughs> Would Shred be your first name or your last name? Well, Shred is Shred like Sting is Sting. <laughs> yeah. Like Bonehead is Bonehead. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And uh, I'm a Dougie dude. Yeah. Oh, they also call him the Wax Man. Guess why? I really wouldn't know. Well, mostly because I polish my board a lot, but I also get a lot of wax in my ears. How lucky for you. <laughs> Can we get right to the invention? Cool. Okay. I'm sure you, like most people, have experienced the heartbreak of foot gunk. No, I'm afraid I haven't had the pleasure. What is foot gunk? Oh, you know, it's that funky tar that gets, like, all over your feet when you go to the beach. Oh, it's really nasty. Shred? Yeah. See? I mean, and you, you can't wipe it off because everything sticks right to it, you know? It's pretty nasty. Would you get your disgusting foot off of my desk? Yeah. Well, no problem. See, we invented... Gunk be gone. That's right. All you gotta do is you squirt this stuff on, all right? And then, yeah. and then you use a shell to scrape it off. Scrape right off. Pretty outrageous, huh? <laughs> you certainly are. Yeah. Now tell me, what are the ingredients of this uh, gunk be gone? A ingredients? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I didn't know we had to have ingredients. I just found this stuff in my sister's I'm garage. Sorry, you know? I'm so sorry. But if you don't know the ingredients, I'm going to have to reject your invention. Bummer. Uh, listen, Miss... Hoffman. Hoffman. See, I... I Whoa, just... major brainwave, dude! Oh, we'll ride it out, Dougie, dude! I just invented name shells. <laughs> you know how you didn't just know her name? Yeah. Well, check it out. Take one of these fancy shells and yeah. a pen over here, right? You write her name on it. Miss Hoffma, right? Good writing, dude. <laughs> Thank you, man. You put it on her desk, right? So people know her name. You put it there, or you can put it by her beach towel or by her surfboard. And then when a fine babe comes walking by on the beach, instead of saying, Hey. She can look at your name, shell and go, Hey, Shred. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Miss Hoffma. Miss Hoffma. <laughs> cool. yeah. Gentlemen. Hey. And I'm using the term even more loosely now. The name plate is not a new invention. Oh, man. You mean someone beat us to it? Bummer. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Well, it's obvious you two don't have any new inventions, and I have a very, very busy schedule. Oh, <laughs> well, Miss Hoffman, hold on. We've saved the best for last. Yeah. How can anything top your other ideas? Well, you see, it's our new game called Curl Hurl. You see, what you do is you put this on right here, and you throw the curlers at the other dude's head, right? Okay. So that he looks really stupid. <laughs> yeah. Well, not like he doesn't already. Oh, but that's all part of the fun, dude, all right? Yeah. See, all right. ready? Whoa! Go! <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, I'll see. Oh, you don't even need a wing, Miss Hama. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, God, dude. Whoa. Oh, hey. It's enough. 
You boys, I think you're in the wrong place. What you need to find is a patent office for surfer inventors. Oh, and fortunately, that place has not been invented yet. Good day. <laughs> Whoa, that was harsh. Yeah, man, majorly harsh. Brainwave, dude! Another one! Write it out, Ducky Dude! What if we invent the server's patent office? <laughs> yeah! yeah. Uh, we could set it up in that abandoned hut with no roof on Bonsai Beach? Yeah, Bonsai Beach! We'd be millionaires within weeks, dude! Uh, billionaires, bro! Billionaires! Yeah. Yeah. And she said we didn't have any good ideas? <laughs> she just did it! Whoa! That's a boy! Last time on Emerald Cove. Call me when and if we have a place to play. So what are we going to do about Matt? He'll come back once we find a new place to play. Then the shack is the only game in town and we blew it. I thought you guys played at that place on the beach. Yeah, we used to. I got fired. What about Bay Shores? Do you know someone at Bay Shores? My father is vice president and general manager. <laughs> Ever stay here? Well, of course. Luke Perry was here at Christmas. Wow, major cool. So, what do you think, Chad? I think it's incredible. It's a little out of our league, though. Well, don't sell yourself short. So, uh, where would we play? Oh, there's plenty of places. You could set up around the pool. It'd be kind of like a giant pool party every Saturday and Sunday. Jeff, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. Let's be careful. About what? About her. Alex? Why? Look, I don't want to get into it, but I don't trust her. Come on, there's something you're not telling me. What is it? I'd rather not say. But trust me, she's trouble. Well, look, if she can get us a place to play, that's the kind of trouble I'm willing to get into. What's going on here? I said, what's going on? Yes, ma'am. Of course, ma'am. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Hudson. The water bottle was hot when I brought it up. Not to worry, Mrs. Hudson. I'll send up another one right away. Thank you. May I help you, sir? Oh, yeah, dude, I am so stoked. Excuse me? Man, I am grooving on this place hard. I mean, whoa! Yes, of course. It is quite splendid, isn't it? Absolutely, dude. This place is styling. Styling? Excellent. Well, I'll be sure to pass on your compliments, sir. Cool. Hey, I hear us pitching barrels around here. Pitching barrels? Is that some kind of board game? No, dude. You know, barrels. You know. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Barrels, yes. Well, you'll find the barrels right through that door, sir. Thanks, dude. You are most welcome. Right. And I dig the suit. Are we in trouble? Hopefully just Alex. But, Daddy, you said I could bring guests. You encouraged it. Guests, not a whole soccer team. They're not a soccer team. They're a rock band. Where would I find a soccer team? I don't think this is going so well. Come on, man. Let's just give her a chance. I didn't promise him anything. You should always come to me first. Daddy, I wanted to be like you. Quick, smart, decisive. I saw a great deal, so I grabbed it. This is a mistake. We can't trust her. You don't even know her. Oh, I know her, all right. And the more I know, the more I don't like. Whoa, dudes, I am so stoked, man. This place is off the rector. Cool it, Weber. What? Alex is dead, man. It looks like he's shutting us down. Oh, hey, I can fix that, no problem. Uh, Weber, why don't we save you for when the situation gets hopeless? Good idea.
Got it? Got it. I'm late for a meeting. We're going to discuss this again later. Well? He didn't say no. He just needs more time. How much? I don't know. He has a lot of other things on his mind right now. I knew she couldn't be trusted. What's that supposed to mean? Just what I said. You can't be trusted. Seems like a pattern. Have a seat, have a seat. Now listen up. Welcome to self-defense class. My name is Buck Stinger and I'll be your instructor. Now today we're going to be going over a number of self-defense techniques you can easily learn in order to defend yourself against yourself. Now, qu question? Did you say how to defend yourself against yourself? Yes, I did. Why would I want to do that? Well, you signed up for the self-defense class, didn't you? Well, yeah, but I wanted to learn how to defend myself against other people. Well, well, well. If it isn't Steven Seagal with us today. And where's your pal, John claude Van Damme? All taking on the uh, Ninja Turtles, possibly? <laughs> Listen, you can't defend yourself against 16 guys carrying around swords and broken bottles until you've learned to defend yourself against yourself because you, my friend, are your most dangerous enemy. <laughs> now, first case. Suppose you're just simply walking down the street when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this happens. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Why didn't you just let go? <laughs> let go? Did you just say let go? I did. And you suppose it's that simple, huh? What if your right hand doesn't know what your left hand is doing? <laughs> or what if you're just simply itching your chin and all of a sudden there's a surprise attack from the rear? <laughs> you don't have an answer for that, do you? I didn't think so. Now, as I was saying, what happens when you're attacked in this fashion? First, you have to distract yourself. It's very simple to confuse yourself by looking around the room. Then, once you start wondering what it is you're looking at, you have to step on your toe like this. Follow that by a blow to the stomach. The pain will cause you to release the grip on yourself Allowing you time to call and scream for help. Help! Help! I'm attacking myself! I'm attacking myself! Okay. Any questions? Yeah, you. Well, won't people think we're, well, silly? Let them think what they want. At least you're alive. <laughs> Next question. I, I'm just tickling work. Negative. For some reason, your body cannot tickle itself. See how confusing it can be, guys? Yeah, you. This seems really stupid. <laughs> Oh, it does. Well, tell me, Mr. Bruce Lee, have you ever tripped over your own feet before? Well, yeah. But... And who exactly tripped you? Well, me. My point exactly. <laughs> See, folks, your body is constantly at war with itself, and unless you're prepared, it's going to be sorry for you. Now, what happens if you attack yourself from the rear? Don't, don't, stop, don't. Excuse don't. me, excuse me. What? This is the most idiotic class I've ever been in. Nobody attacks themselves. I'm leaving. Okay, fine. But you're going to miss my next class. Fencing. <laughs> now, when a fence attacks you... What? Come back. Look, the fence is attacking me. It's attacking me. Now it's got my pants. Look. Justin Whitney the gang singing I'll Take You There.
been great. Thanks for coming out. We hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.